In this video we are going to add the uh, finish line uh, concept and uh, if we reach the finish line we uh, the time should stop or slow down and uh, also we will create some other things in this video so the first thing is that uh, we will just go to our scene and uh, let's select this car and uh, near to the finish point we have to create a finish line here so you can see this is a uh, the starting point where we have lap line and inside the lap line we have lap trigger and actually we want we can actually duplicate this lap trigger uh, i will just duplicate it Control d and i will just place it before this finish line so uh, uh, before this lap uh, count so here this trigger will be the finish trigger so i will just name it finish trigger a finish line trigger maybe and we don't have any mesh renderer uh, we can delete this mesh renderer we don't need it box collider will be trigger and we will just delete this lab script we will add finish line script which we have already created for the finish line so i will just add it here okay so now the important thing is that uh, in the scripts uh, first of all we will just go to save script and inside save script we have created two more variable public static int max labs and also public static bool race our equal to false so we want to make a race our uh, will be true or false in certain conditions and inside update function we will just place this function which uh, we already have uh, here in update function and we will create this if statement before uh, this whole function so we will add if race over is equal to false then we want to run this line of code so this is it for uh, save script and uh, now we will just move back to activator script which uh, will uh, is actually added to the middle of the uh, uh, on, uh, on in the middle object and here we will create one object public game object finish point and then here you can see that we have created if save script dot lap number equal to save script dot maximum laps and then uh, it should be activated finish point uh, game object should be activated so it means that if we have uh, three laps then uh, when our race will be uh, in third lab and uh, the maximum lap shows the maximum laps numbers so when we are in third lab then in uh, when we will cross the activator uh, object then the finish line will be active so one more important thing is that uh, this finish line trigger object should be inactive in the beginning okay so it should not be activated by default so it should be inactive in the beginning and now you can see that on the activator we have already added so now we will just uh, first save script then activator and then we will just go to lap script in the lab script we will just add this line of code uh, before adding this main function so after this start code in wrong way reset function we will add if save script race over equal to false then we want to run this function okay so it is important so you have to add this and uh, in the last we will just go to finish line and uh, in the finish line script what we will do we will just add if other dot game object dot compare tag is player then save script dot race hour equal to true so the race hour will be true and the time dot time scale will be 0.2 f so we will see our game in a slow motion so let's add everything in the place and as uh, you can see that if we uh, uh, extend our uh, progress waypoints uh, the middle point uh, where we have added the activator script is i think yeah this one 13 okay and in on this 13 uh, uh, point you can see activator script and finish point 
uh, object is here so we will just go to uh, the finish point uh, the this one and we will just add it over here so now if we play the game and uh, when we will reach in the middle then only the uh, this will be activated in the last lap okay so now you can see that everything is working fine and uh, we have uh, three laps so if we start the lab you can see the lab is started but uh, you can test it out with one lap and uh, hopefully it will work fine i will test it with my uh, scenario and uh, then we will move further in next video so here you can see that uh, we have a we have canvas and on canvas we have these total laps so you can make it uh, uh, total laps equal to one for example and you can test it out and uh, if everything is okay then we can move further okay so now you can see that we i just just test it out and we enter and you can see the time is slowed down that's great so that's great we have successfully implemented this system and uh, in next video we'll move further